guys, it's Anastasia and welcome back to my channel. As you probably, hopefully, maybe noticed, I've been on a bit of a hiatus on this channel and if you follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, you'll know that that's because my room has been in the thick of its DIY renov- or my DIY renovation, which means that it's been unfit for filming in, sleeping in, breathing in, basically anything in. So I apologize for a little absence, I've absolutely hated it. But this brings us to this very exciting video because now that I am finished, I can finally share what I've been working on and I hope that you like it. I worked really hard on this and I hope that you enjoy this video. I hope you find it comforting, tranquil, or just you know, relaxing to watch or look at. Or maybe it can serve as inspiration for you if you've been thinking of jazzing up your own space, whether it be your bedroom, your dorm room, or what have you. Because I think as the colder months approach, you know, you want your bedroom to be as cozy and just wonderful to spend time with as possible because that's when you will be spending the most time in it. So hopefully this video inspires you or gives you some new ideas. Also keep in mind that the space that I have to work with is very small, so if your bedroom is small as well or if you were thinking of doing something like this for a dorm room which is notoriously small, then I've sprinkled along some tips along the way of ways that I've tried to use decor to sort of elevate the space and make it seem expansive than it actually is. So I hope you'll find that helpful and please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy, that will make me very happy. Share it with your friends that you think might be inspired by it or might just enjoy it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed already, I make videos here every week. I've also created a blog post to go along with this video where I've just included even more pictures, more text, links to the things that I featured, as well as just links to similar things in case I couldn't find the exact products shown. So if you're interested to look at that or just to maybe pin some of these photos on Pinterest, which honestly I would be so flattered, you have no idea, because I tried so hard to make these as Pinterest worthy as possible. So if you're interested to check that out, the link will be in the description. And without any further ado, let's check out this room. As all room tours begin with a grand entrance, this is my door and this is what you first see upon walking through it. As I've said, my room is very small, so my big fluffy bed pretty much dominates the view when you walk in. The faux fur rug at the foot of my door is from Home Goods, and let's just take a quick second to appreciate my beautiful door that I painstakingly painted and the pretty little glass doorknob. Both the door and the doorknob are from Lowe's, which incidentally was my second home during this renovation. I wanted my room to be very minimal, romantic, and airy, inspired by French apartment buildings where carved and paneled walls add dimension to a pure white space, but since my walls aren't that fancy, I tried to mimic that effect by wearing white furniture and decor pieces. I made sure to keep everything to a grayscale palette and used metallics such as silver and gold to add warmth and sparkle because I'm obsessed with anything that glitters. Also, since my room doesn't get very good light, I tried to incorporate glass and mirrored surfaces so they can bounce light around my room and make it feel brighter. Here I have my vanity table, which is from Ikea. I think the shape is such a brilliant design because it strikes the perfect balance between referencing more elaborate dressing tables of the past while still keeping to a minimal aesthetic. On my vanity, I have a glittering assortment of treasures. First, I have this beautiful glass bell jar ring holder by M Living. I discovered M Living when I fell in love with their white unicorn ring holder, which has lived on my Pinterest boards for like a year, honestly. You might have seen it. So when I started this room project, I looked into their other products and was in paradise because their white pieces are so perfect if you're trying to go for the white monochromatic dimensional look that I am. They always incorporate cultural icons into their designs like skulls, critters, mythical creatures, and other things that can be either charming or edgy or sometimes both, and I think are just really cool pieces to have in a bedroom. They sell their products through a monthly curated shop, which I will also link in the description so you can find it easily if you're interested. Next, I switched out the plain black knobs on my vanity drawers for these vintage-inspired glass ones from Anthropology. As you already know, I adore Anthropology. The mercury glass candle, as well as the iridescent one, are also from Anthropology. Are also linked in the description. 
As you can see, I really love me some mercury glass, and that second mercury glass votive is from Pure One Imports. The white rock candle holder was a gift from my sister, and the crystal jar is from my mom. The perfume is Euphoria by Calvin Klein. Then I went ahead and draped some anthropology starry string lights around the mirror, which sparkle even in their reflection in the glass surface of the vanity. Moving on next to the vanity, I have a closet that I only use to hang up coats and jackets and in the corner I randomly have a fringe backpack and a throw that my sister got me for graduation. Next, I have this enormous wall unit from Ikea that I've had from before the renovation. It towers over my room but I use it to store everything I own from clothes, shoes and accessories to supplies, boxes, books and technologies. Next is my bed. My inspiration for my bed was literally a cloud, <laughs> so I piled on a lot of fluffy pillows. The faux fur one to the left is from Home Goods, and the knit one to the right of it was handmade by my mom. My duvet, also a gift from my sister, is from Pier One Imports, as are the two matching pillowcases. The beautiful applique blanket under the duvet was also given to me by my mom. I'm head over heels for beautiful gothic or romantic carved headboards and four poster beds, but since they cost a fortune, I opted for a ceiling canopy. I got mine from Bed Bath & Beyond and it makes my room feel royal and magical and I love it. Honestly, my favorite part of my room was probably the most painful part of the process, but also the most worthwhile. We stripped my old carpet to find an old hardwood floor underneath it, but it was bright orange, so we sanded and refinished it with this whitewash effect. Now my floor looks bright and beachy and I am completely in love, but as it can get cold, I layered lots of fluffy rugs throughout my room to keep my feet toasty and make my room feel even more like a cloud. All of my faux fur rugs are from Home Goods. This grey one at the foot of my bed is my favorite because I love the ombre effect it creates between my bed and the black wall unit. Across from my bed is my window, and I've made a cozy little nook out of this corner. Because my ceilings are quite low, and I wanted to give the room the appearance of being taller, I went for floor-length curtains that put on the floor for a romantic look reminiscent of castle chambers. Another tip if you're thinking of changing things up in your room is to place your curtain rod as close to the ceiling as possible. This draws the eye upward and creates the illusion of higher ceilings. My curtain rod with the little glass sphere at the end, which reminds me of a wizard's glass ball, is from Lowe's. The curtains were also my mom's and were originally handmade by my grandmother. Though they're not white, I love that the pearly damask, damask? I don't know how you pronounce it, but damask <laughs> pattern and color makes them look rose gold, which I really like. Next to the window is another piece that vies for my attention as the favorite part of my room. It's this giant wiener mirror with a beaded mirrored frame. It's honestly embarrassing to th truthfully share how much time I spent trying to find a beautiful floor mirror that didn't cost the price of my soul, and just when I was close to moving on, I found this beauty in Bed Bath & Beyond. Other than being beautiful and enabling some killer outfit selfies, this mirror also serves the dual purpose of making the room feel taller and wider. To make this area more cozy, I've draped my pretty starry lights from Restoration Hardware that my oldest sister got me around the length of the mirror. At the foot of the mirror, I have more rugs from Home Goods, one to keep the mirror from sliding and one to keep me comfortable if I'm doing my makeup or taking pictures. The random yarn is there because I recently bought it for my mom to make a cozy throw or scarf for the winter, but I kind of really like the way it looks just as a rustic decor accent. It makes my room feel like an anthropology store. On the wall adjacent to my mirror, I have this set of three porcelain wall hooks inspired by the Mortise Lock doorknobs from older times. These hooks are by M. Living. I use mine to display my silver chains, and I think they give my wall the subtle elegance of carved ceilings and walls that the architecture of my room inherently lacks. 
If you like these pieces that I've shown today, please do follow In Living on their social media for more charming ideas. Under the jewelry hooks, I have my bedside table, which is also from IKEA. It's just a simple nightstand, but my secret to transforming IKEA products into one-of-a-kind furniture is by replacing the hardware. So if you're on a budget and don't want to invest in higher-end pieces from a furniture store, I think this is a great alternative to making popular IKEA pieces your own. I got this charming knob from Anthropology. It's a lion or a lioness sprawled over a simple white knob, and if you guys have any ideas for what to name him or her, leave them down below. That would be awesome. On my nightstand, I just have this beautiful mercury glass candle holder that I also got from Pier 1 Imports with just a plain white candle on it, and on a typical night, I might have a book or my phone resting beside it. On the bottom shelf of my nightstand, I have another candle. This one is also from Anthropology, and my oldest sister got it for me for my birthday. The scent is called Angel Food, and yes, it smells every bit as divine as it sounds. True story. I gave it to my dog to sniff, and his tail began wagging uncontrollably, and he began to lick his lips. So it has Rambo's seal of approval on it. Next to it, I have a pretty white package from a Velespa candle that I've placed on a black ornate coaster that I got from my grandmother. Resting behind it is a gorgeous Venetian Halloween mask. And that's it for my room. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like this video if you did like it, share it with your friends, hit that subscribe button, you know the drill. Also let me know down below what your favorite part of my new room is. I love you very much and I will see you next week. We don't